on. We have several pictures today. We have plenty of time. Jesus, yeah. Jesus, I to Jesus, 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 it means something to be like Paul was, to be like the apostles was. Now, Paul is the way me and you talk to me. Paul will tell me. You know what this instruction is? In your hardness, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. In your hardness, as a good soldier. Jesus Christ. I have been assured that in their hearts as a good soldier. How many others do that today? How many others? You know the Bible in Revelations tells us if we're faithful unto that, you give us a kind of life that fades not away. This life, the days, and the days past is not all of them. He's still in front of me and you. It doesn't matter how good we have been, nor how much we work for the Lord, we've got to be faithful to the end. Yeah. That is something or another that we'll have to endure if we expect to be saved. That ain't no other way in. Me and you have to hold out. First God, you have to be saved. Second, you have to endure to the end. Now, it's not talking about the end of the world for me, unless you're alive when the world comes. He's talking about your end, this natural life. You've got to be faithful till that time. I thought about Paul, yeah, as he was put in jail, and as he was whooped, as he was stoned. Do you know what he does? He got right up and went back to preach the word of God. You know he was stoned to death one time, but they thought he went there anyway. Stoned to death, carried outside, dumped in the city, dumped. While the saints of God stood around weeping and crying, the spirit of life from God entered back in the fall. God come calling up the dump. Got out and prayed with them, time to walk out back into the city. Boy, they carried him out. Hallelujah. It means something to be faithful. It means something to have your mind made up. It means something that you've got a mind that you're going to live for God no matter what the world does to you. Thank God we have a little talk now. That's about all you have to worry about. People talking about you, people criticizing, people are making sound, and once in a while somebody says I'm hard to you, but we don't have now what these boys had to go through with. Yet Paul wrote this man a letter and told him to endure hardness under the children of Jesus Christ. Thy God, study like the man that done the right. Study like the man, thy God that was a bad lady. Shall you like a man that would have a word God said to go and preach the word of God? Thy God, he told them one time when he was going up to Jerusalem. God sent a prophet down the country. And met that man. To Paul's scout, to the Bible, and bind his own hands and feet. And said, Thus say the Holy Ghost. The Jews are alive in the land. At Jerusalem when he goes up. The land that owns the church. He kept all the They look at the time like Don't drop that ball. Don't drop that ball. I'll say what he means to break my heart. Sign out to me. I have to break my heart. He said, 